Those extraordinary images caught on tape, those tornadoes hitting Oklahoma yet again. You can see the funnel cloud there off in the distance there just a week after we were there in more Oklahoma for that destructive tornado. And now look at this tonight, the new images, the newest storms to hit. What it was like inside one of those countless cars trapped on those Oklahoma interstates. That's the debris flying in the sky right at them, straight at the driver, suddenly caught in the middle of it all. Cars lifted, some pushed right into another lane, that debris smashing through the windshields. Many of those families tell us there were conflicting warnings, some on television telling them to get in their cars and try to beat the tornadoes. Those tornadoes so powerful. Look at this tonight, a wind turbine there next to it, right on the ground, falling on top of a school. The violent storms spreading beyond Oklahoma as well to the north near St. Louis, Missouri. Dozens of homes damaged by a tornado there. Winds up to 150 miles an hour. And then, of course, the torrential rains that came with the storms triggering flash floods leading to rescues. And this image today, a man kayaking down a street in Fort Wayne, Indiana. This was widespread and our extreme weather team is across the storm zone tonight and leading our coverage. ABC meteorologist Ginger Z, who's in Oklahoma for us tonight. Ginger, good evening. David, I'm right here next to that gigantic wind turbine blade. Now this thing smashed into not just a school, but it's a daycare where small children go. I want to give you a big perspective of what happened here. Check it out. That huge blade smashed into the top and it's about a quarter mile that the tornado threw it. Fortunately, none of the children were inside, but unfortunately, that was not the fate of others in the path of these tornadoes. Oh my gosh, back up. Look at the source on the border seas. Violent tornado. Chaos as the Oklahoma landscape is scoured again. Tonight, we know that at least nine are dead, more than 100 injured, as five confirmed tornadoes ripped through just 11 raw days after that EF5 monster erased more Oklahoma. Among the dead, a mother and baby believed to have been sucked from their car. Oh, horizontal! On this day, that jet stream we'd been talking about for a week dug in, hot, moist, and incredibly unstable air. The violent storms unfolded like clockwork. Five hours before tornado touchdown, the National Weather Service warning. By 6 p.m., the tornadoes lined up, one after another, terrifying target, Oklahoma City. We're on I-44 South. They've shut down the highway going north so that people can't get into Oklahoma City. This is a very serious situation. Two tornadoes back to back heading downtown. Red, turn the car around. Storm chasers trying to get away, blasted with debris. The tornado turning right into them. And look at that, right there, another group of chasers lifted by the winds. Inside that vehicle, it looked like this. An airport shredded, semi-trucks tossed as one of the tornadoes flipping dozens of cars along I-40. Right here on I-40, the tornado races from the southwest, meets the highway, then takes a very sharp right turn, heading straight through the busy freeway. With the ravenous twisters came drowning rains. Me out to my backyard where there is a large rapid. The roads collapsing as up to eight inches of rain fell. That road right there is in very bad condition. It could collapse at any time. And it wasn't all in Oklahoma. A vivid strike at one of America's other great cities, St. Louis. Preliminary reports of at least three tornadoes, winds topping out up to 150 miles per hour. Raked from central Missouri into western Illinois. Water rescues as far north as Fort Wayne, Indiana. One of the maintenance men here on site told us that this wind turbine blade is one of three. The other two, they don't know where the tornado brought them. David. Proof of the extraordinary power of these tornadoes in Ginger. We're not in the clear yet. You were telling me more severe weather in the hours ahead. Already popping up in western Pennsylvania and they will along that cold front. The potential for them all the way through southern Texas and it is not just tonight. It goes one more day into Northeast and New England tomorrow. High alert for afternoon and evening for all those big cities you see included there.